So the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to do the easy section, right? And the easy section from this paper is 10.1. So in the easy section, it's basically the properties and the identities that you need to know from grade 10 and grade 11. And if you are struggling with that, I would suggest the fact that you purchase my course. It's only 120 rand. And also, like the previous videos, is that below there's going to be white, there's going to be a quiz that covers the easy sections of probability, right? So the quiz for that is going to be down the description box and also the link to purchase the call uh, to purchase the course is going to be down in the description so now let's start answering the question so what we're going to do we're going to do a 10 point uh 10.1 right let me just change my pen and it says given that the probability of a is equals to 0 comma 4 and the probability of b is equals to 0 comma 5 then 10.1.1 it says calculate the probability of a or b if a and b are mutually uh, exclusive events what does it mean when they say mutually exclusive events is that there is no intersection so if there is a probability of a if there is a venn diagram right then this is a and this is b right you see the fact that there's no intersection this means the fact that they are mutually exclusive right so with that said what is the uh, what you call this what is the identity formula for this right it will be 10 point 1.1 it will be like this is that the probability of a or b is going to be equals to what it's going to be equals to just the probability of a plus the probability of b remember since there is no intersection we're not going to separate by the intersection so what you're going to do is the following is that we know that the probability of a at 0 comma 4 plus the probability of b is 0 comma 5 right so therefore this is going to be equals to y to 0 comma 9 so this is the answer for the first question to answer this question it's very important for you to know your identities right and every identity or every property that is covered under this it's in my course so link in my course as i said the fact that it's only 120 and it covers the entire thing on probability right so i'll just leave an eye on top or it's good it's going to be it definitely is going to be in the description right so that is the first question so now for 10.1.2 so it says calculate the probability of a or b and they tell us the fact that a and b are independent event you need to first understand what does it mean when two events are independent if a and b are independent that means the fact that there's an intersection right so independency means the fact that there's an intersection meaning the fact that the two are like this right so independent event means the fact that there's an intersection and since there's an intersection meaning now using the identity uh, formula is that now the probability of a or b it's basically equals to the probability of A plus the probability of B, right? But remember the fact that there is white, there is an intersection. So minus the probability of what? Of A and B, right? So now you're probably asking yourself, how are we going to get this one because of it's not given? The fact that they told us the fact that the two events are independent, it's how we're going to find the intersection, right? So what do we know about independency? Is that to know the fact that two events are independent, is that the probability of A and the probability of B, right? If it's if it is independent, is that it's equal to the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B, right? So with that said, is that since we know the fact that these two are independent and this is the formula of independency, right? So now we can calculate for this one, which is this one, right? So we know the fact that the probability of A and the probability of B is equal to what? Is equal to 0, 4 multiplied by 0, 5 right and then when you punch it into the calculator you're going to find the fact that it's equals to 0 comma 2 so now we have everything to find this right so therefore the probability of a right or probability of b is equals to what to the probability of a plus the probability of b 
minus what the intersection which is the probability of a and b right so with that said we know the fact that probability of a is equal to 0 comma 4 plus the probability of b which is going to be 0 comma 5 minus the intersection which is going to be 0 comma 2 punch that into your calculator you're going to find the fact that the probability of a or b if a and b are independent is equals to what it's equals to 0 comma 7 and that's how you would answer this question